Danganronpa. Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa. Last episode we left off with a cliffhanger on what Sayaka would seem to be wondering what is happening to her. I don't know what I said. To Let's get him. Or be killed? I just can't take this anymore. Just like Flowey, like I mentioned. Sayaka. Huh. <sighs> 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 Finally, she raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Makoto, can, can I believe what you said? Huh? Can you help me get out? No matter what it takes? Uh, absolutely! Makoto! You're the only one I can trust, so please! No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. Huh? Uh, of course I'll be there for you. No matter what, I'm always on your side. I mean, you are my assistant after all. Makoto. Thank you. Can you say that? I feel like I could keep going. I... I could get through this. As long as you're here with me. Because I'm your assistant. That's all I'd come to know and well... Come to know so well returned to her face. If that's a little force, but still. It was a huge improvement. Oh, my God, I like your boss. Hey, hey! It's Daddy Up! Hey, <laughs> Ricardo, it's Daddy Up! But what's standing up? Come on! Don't you even have to ask? Your flagpole! I wonder what he means. Get the hell out of here! Just a minute. No, no, I wanna join in! Damn it! Well, if you well, if you won't leave, then tell us what the hell's up with those videos! <laughs> it's about to come out! It's gonna come out my prison pure right! Yeah! Stop Jeez, man. My honest innocent, innocent stuff because walls are come gushing out. I bowed up my face, took aim, and swung as hard as I could. I've <laughs> never put so much energy into single motion before in my life. <laughs> I wonder what he was simulating there. I leaned back, telling my overpower, let go, telling all my power, and let go with everything I had. Ah! Are you okay? But I haven't avoided your punch. You would have had just the violated school regulations. Hey. But boy, are you slow, 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 slow. Yes. I got a down to thousand dollar four court dinner in the time you took you to finish your swing. Ah. It's been agility, alertness, passion, boldness, and sexual despair, antagonization. It's all lacking. What the heck was that just now? You just wanted to mess with us. How? You wanted to mess with us by thinking that I was... That you were what? It's complicated. What do you mean it's complicated? Shut up, I really want to get on with the story. Okay, I guess. Uh, um. Well, for now, do you just want to head back? Yeah. Monokuma had come along and swiftly destroyed the good mood we had just created and <laughs> made it look like it had sexual erotica. Alright? It looked like erotica when he says his stuffing was g gushing out. Jeez, don't take that out of context, even though it's meant to be. Saka and I headed back to the dorms. You should get some rest, Saka. You look pretty shaken. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right, I'm going to lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. Now on my own, I headed off to tell everyone to say I was okay. Once that was done, I decided to go back to my room. It was hard to think after watching that deranged video, I needed some rest of my own. I can't believe I'm talking so fast. I'm reading announced announcements perfectly. Jeez, seriously, what's going on here? 
There's just so many problems. I can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here? The, uh, what I saw in the video might be real? Monokuma? What is the mastermind has- What the mastermind has distorted us? Or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here. But I could never kill someone. Do the others all feel the same? Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. Ain't it the truth? Uh, take it, egg dog. Take it, egg dog. Huh? When I opened my eyes, I darted immediately to the clock. It's almost ten o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Night time's about to start, but it says it right there. So how come someone's here? I'm really sorry to come by so late. She doesn't look too good. Sayaka? Sayaka, what are you doing out so late? That's when I noticed. Her body was trembling. I is everything okay? It was so strange. I'm so sorry to bother you, but something really weird just happened. Something weird? Just a little while ago, I was blanked out in my room, and all of a sudden, my door started rattling and shaking. Your voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing your talk made me tense up. I was so scared. It was like someone it was. It was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get in, of course. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. I was so scared I couldn't even move. So what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by and I got up and opened the door to check outside. Makoto. But there was nobody there. Someone tried to force their way into your room? But who would do something like that? I mean... It's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but still, it makes me nervous. What if something like that happened in the middle of the night? What do I, what would I do then? You don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we can't go outside during nighttime. That's that's a, a promise we made, right? If someone decided to break break that promise, then yeah, she has a good point. What if? Why don't you stay in my room tonight? Wouldn't that make you feel a little better? Huh? What? All I said, all I said in the school regulations that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't, spe it didn't state specifically which room each person had to sleep in. So, hey, um, but two people sharing one room is, you know, what? I already knew that. Ah! Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I didn't even think about that. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. Uh, um, I don't know. I know. Me, there is not even out of my head here, but uh, uh, if you don't mind, can we maybe switch rooms just for today? Switch rooms? If it'll help you put your mind at ease, then it'll be totally fine with me. But I don't mind you staying in my room, but are you sure it's okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't like concern you. <laughs> it's fine. I trust you. In that case, then... As I said before, this game was made in 2010, so Fight at the Phrase probably took it from the internet like they did. I'm talking about the sound effect. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. I loved voicing Monokuma at that point, where he was acting so perverted. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. prohibited. Or was he? Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Um, oh man, it's already night time. Okay, so it's settled. I'll head to your room right now. 
Oh, we're gonna if we're gonna train Rude, we better train Keys too. That's a train. We have to train Keys again. Like I said, I'm psychic. No, uh, hey, aren't you gonna aren't you gonna say you were just kidding? <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? Some of her resembling a smile had made its way to her face. Thank goodness it, it looks like she already started to get back to normal. Well, we better trade keys then. Okay. Yep, let's do it. We exchanged keys and when I looked back at, up at her again, there was another word expression there. Um, Makoto, please be careful. If something comes to the door, do not open it no matter what. what. I won't. Same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open the door for anyone. <laughs> Even if I choose you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, I'll supply didn't even switch you. Oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob, then lift up the lift up on the door while you pull it out. Just do that, and the door should open no problem. Okay, but the showers don't work during nighttime anyway, right? Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. <laughs> but I guess I might use it when I get up, get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well, I'd better get going. See you tomorrow, Sayaka. Hey, um, oh, what about what I said before? Hmm? <laughs> when I said I was thinking, it was really a joke. Honestly, I'm just... Very perspective. Perceptive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good night, Dad. See you in the morning. Becca gave me one less parting smile, and I headed off to my room. Looked around. As soon as I got out into the hall, everyone else's doors were closed. There was no sign of life. That was dark. Good. There's nobody here. Making sure nobody was around to spot me, I rushed into Sayaka's room. So this is Sayaka's room. So it really doesn't look any different from mine. It smells nice though. Night time. This bed itself looks exactly the same, but knowing Sayaka's slept on it makes me look forward to trying it out for myself. You know how you know how gross that sounds? Do you know how creepy and disturbing that sounds? Hey, the first coin, I guess. A room came as a toolkit, but Sayaka's had a sewing kit. Just like the note said. Also next to it is the map of the body's vital organs. That is sick. Kind of weird to dig through other people's trash, but I couldn't help taking a quick peek. That's... There wasn't any doubt about it. It was a CD... DVD from, with her name on it that we found in the AV room. That reminds me, I never did, did get the chance to find out what was in her video. But it's probably best if I wait until she brings it up again. If I remember right, all the girls' private bathrooms have locks on them. I'm a little reluctant to go in. I don't think Sayaka would like me snooping around too much. I should probably get to bed soon. So lower myself onto Sayaka's bed, a pleasant fragrance enveloped me. I wonder what it was. Sayaka's scent. Maybe it'll bring me some sweet dreams. You're sick. Makoto, you're sick, bucko. Feeling a little better than before, I fell asleep. It's Mata Kuma Finker! Imagine you're in, all in a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that. We have set sail and left her behind. Here you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, truck drivers, or pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or the asthma that induces air pollution. And of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game. But, 
But even our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If we're really dead, set on rep if we're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog poop you call Earth, please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I make myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together. Yay! Oh, did you see my cabana up? Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Is Seb half still asleep? Still half asleep! And rub my eyes. Slowly, I pulled myself out of bed. I remembered I was in Sayaka's room. I just remembered I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. They better get going. I left Sayaka's room and made my way towards the dining hall. A few people have already gathered at the dining hall by the time I got there. Oh, I, oh, come on. Makoto? Ah, hey, good morning! Can you believe it? I was the first one here this morning! <laughs> good morning! Hey, Makoto! Good morning! <laughs> I suppose I'm early. I can't stand it! Cassandra Morris's voice is perfect! I figured everyone who had arrived on time could be considered model high schoolers. But the ones who showed up a little late. Yo! Sorry! <sighs> Sorry, I'm late. My makeup just would not cooperate this morning. Ah, well, hello. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. My morning uh, duty took off took a little longer than usual. Were the types that were more relaxed with a more relaxed sense of time. Most high schoolers failed into this category. And finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. Indeed. I suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My bad, my bad. My bad, guys. Slept right through my alarm. What's your problem? Why, it, it, it's so awful to be late. Yo. I didn't oversleep, just so you know. Nope, got lost. I blame the Bermuda Triangle. He is a clairvoyant. I don't even know if I said it right, but whatever. D don't care about time or people or other people in general. They're just a kind of move at their own pace. But regardless, everyone that arrived, at least that I was supposed to go. Where is Sayaka? Hmm. Bayakua and Sayaka. Wait, are we missing some people? Uh, yeah, Sayaka and Bayakua ha aren't here yet. I don't know about Byakuwa, but I would definitely put Sayaka in the model high schooler category, but for her to be so late. What? What's going on? Did something happen? Yo. Hey man, have you seen Sayaka? <laughs> Why would I have? I came, just came straight from my room to here. Um, did you get, forget about her breakfast promise? However... I got the sense that she's always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small, dark speck of unease rose up inside of me. And the speck started to grow quickly! I need to go. I HAVE TO CHECK ON HER! The words had barely left my lips before I flew out into the hall. Where I, where I headed first was my room, where I let Sayaka stay for a single night, where she was supposed to be safe, for over the course of that night, Oh no. This. Oh frick. The room has been completely transformed. What the hell? What is in there? I better check the bathroom. Let's take a look inside. Ah! 
It took me a second to realize I was screaming. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! What I saw dug its way through my eyes and buried itself into my brain. Then, and then, everything went black. <laughs>